<clears throat> All right, back again. And today I'm just going to be taking a look at this little plug and play device the TV Play Power in television. It's a 10 in 1 controller. It actually looks like a third party Sega Genesis controller. Well, let's plug it in and see how it is. Alright, so all this does is ju it just plugs in through the TV with AV and it uses four AA batteries. And I lost a back piece when I was younger. This thing actually came out like in 2004. Or uh, I forget when, it says it on the, the intro screen. By the way, I actually got somebody to buy this. They're coming to pick it up in an, probably like an hour. Which is pretty f good. I, <laughs> I sold it quick. I only got it on Monday. With all these games. And a Super Game Boy. These are just extras I happen to have. So I'm just selling them. And I've been trying to get rid of these games for months. So I knew buying this Retron was going to help. <laughs> it's actually pretty funny. But yeah, anyway, back to the video. Yeah, and this is a reset button. 2003. Come to it. Games Astro Smash, Night Stalker, Shark Shark, Snafu, Space Armada, Skiing, <laughs> it's a generic name, Motocross, Baseball, Football, and Star Strike. Alright, so let me get this into the DVD recorder and play some in television games. Alright, so now I got this plugged into the TV, to the DVD recorder, and let me turn this on. This came out in 2003. I got this in 2006 though, somebody gave it to me. And we're gonna play the games in the order, from left to right. So we're gonna start with Astro Smash. Let's go. 1981. Similar to games like Galaga, Space Invaders, you know, pretty common for, for the early 80s and late 70s. I think with this one, there's no stages, you just shoot for the high score. Peak score, 1995. My score, 1175. Let's see if I could get to that high score. That's pretty much what a lot of the earlier games were about, getting the high score. Most games back in the day, they, they really didn't have a story for them. Of 
Personally, I'm not a huge fan of games that predate the NES. They seem very simple, and, like a little too simple. Like they're fun to play for like a few minutes, but after a while, they they get kind of kind of redundant. But I appreciate them for their impact on the industry. I actually took a, a history of video games course a year ago at, at my, for my for my college. Pretty interesting. Well, I actually knew a lot of stuff <laughs> that that was taught in that class. Beforehand, like I already knew it because YouTube and you know, and just going on Wikipedia and stuff. And because I, you know, I always found that stuff interesting. I wonder what's happening to the TV right now. Read blue because I got 2000, 2240 now. Ah, what's wrong with my TV? To me, I feel like the NES is where gaming really took off and became how it is now. Wow, 3,025. The new peak score is 39.95. Alright, next game. Night Stalker. I haven't actually played this thing in like years. I remember I got this in 2006. I was like nine or something like that when I got this thing. I remember around that time I also had an Atari flashback. Hmm, I wonder what happened that I, why I got stuck. Oh! Oh, come on. I also had an Atari flashback too. And I enjoyed that more than, than this, but... Because that one had 40 games. I remember one time it, it, it broke. And I tried to, to open it and fix it, and it sparked in my hand. Ah, oh, come on. Shot right when I got the gun. I wonder if it's because of these batteries? I don't know. Shark Shark. 1982. It's funny they all say in television presents.
You get all the the small bit, not that. You gotta touch all the the blue fish. Uh, I haven't played these in a while, so <laughs> that's funny. Just see how long you can last. I don't know what the heck is wrong with this thing. It keeps on... It keeps on showing wavy lines on the screen and I am hearing loud buzzing. Ah! If you let go of the button, it moves by itself to wherever you last. Press the D-pad to go. Thirteen hundred. Get away from the shark. Ah. Alright, next game. Snafu. Can select the difficulty and stuff. Alright. So I'm supposed to go around the the blue one. Wait, I forgot to this one. Ah! Or don't touch the walls either. I won, I guess. I wonder what happened to the sound. One 
inches. Oh. One inch of the long train. Hmm. Next game. Space Armada. This one is pretty much Space Invaders. Just called differently. So let's do one downhill. This one is pretty simple. Let's turn around. Whoa, 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 whoa! Ah! Oh, come on, come on! Why am I hitting the, the damn trees? Zip zap zupri bop.
T1. And now I'm green. And now there's thunderstorm. Great. Pressing the Y button makes me tilt like that. And just pressing the A button makes me go faster. Ah. So after every heat, which I chose four, the color changes. So now I'm blue. Right at the finish line. All right, round four, last one.
Alright, let's see which one I did the best on first. Alright, next game. Motocross. 1987. They still had in television games in 1987. I guess for the, the poor people who couldn't afford an NES. And I assume parents back then, they see a game console, except they see that this one is cheaper than television I'm referring to. And they assume it's all the same thing as an NES, which is, I'm assuming, by 1987, that's what... That's what the kids wanted, so... Or a master system. Oh my god, we're back! Black one. One fifty two. I can choose how many laps. What? Oh, come on. See if I do better this time. One twenty six ninety four. I forgot what my other time was. Next game. Baseball. Nineteen eighty three World Championship Baseball. <laughs> well, let's play.
Yes. Ah, come on. Hmm, I wonder why I wasn't moving when I was pressing that. I'm the orange one. Ah, oh, come on. So I guess I'm the Mets, and they're the Yankees. I hate early sports games. They can get very redundant and repetitive. No wonder why they're always in every bargain bin. So now I'm the blue one. doing <laughs> ah that's weird when 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 I have to use the the blue characters team and then we'll go to the next game. I wonder why he doesn't hit as far. Alright, next game. Wait, which one? 
go to one line. I'm not really a big fan of football, to be real honest. I don't really know much about it. sports in real life to be also honest. Last one, Star Strike, 1981. Ah. It's a very seizure-inducing screen. I did not get this. It's early 3D. Does it age well? No. Okay. So I'm supposed to go under them. Under the US the UFOs. Or I would assume behind them in that perspective. I, I don't know. I can't tell. As you can tell, I suck at a lot of these games. As I say, I'm, I'm not too much into earlier games. Like, that predate the NES. Out of all the, the earlier system, uh, system, Atari is, is my favorite. 2600 is my favorite of the second gen systems. I never played a real one, but I had to, like I said, I had, I think I mentioned that I had Atari Flashback too. And I really liked it. The 40 games that I had were pretty cool. But this, yeah, I don't know. It is. I assume a younger kid would really hate this thing. But I do find some enjoyment out of it, but just for a short period of time. Alright, so as always, more to come. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned.